flesh-eating monsters real? Do these killers lurk among us? Just ask the people who lived in this Milwaukee neighborhood. In the annals of criminal history, few names evoke the chilling aura of terror quite like that of Jeffrey Dahmer. Behind the facade of an ordinary existence lurked a mind twisted by darkness, driven by insatiable urges and unfathomable depravity. Born on May 21, 1960 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Dahmer's childhood appeared unremarkable. But beneath the surface, a storm brewed. As a child, he displayed an unhealthy fascination with death and mutilation, a harbinger of the horrors to come. His descent into madness accelerated in adulthood, fueled by alcohol abuse and an obsession with necrophilia. Between 1978 and 1991, Dahmer's reign of terror claimed the lives of at least 17 young men and boys, their remains hidden within the confines of his squalid apartment. The depths of Dahmer's psychosis defy comprehension. To him, his victims were mere objects, pawns in a grotesque game of control and domination. He sought to possess their very essence, to merge their identities with his twisted desires. Dahmer's crimes speak to a profound disturbance within his psyche. His compulsion to dehumanize and defile his victims reflects a deep-seated sense of inadequacy and alienation. In their suffering, he sought solace from his own inner torment, a futile attempt to fill the void consuming his soul. In 1992, Dharma was convicted of murder and received 16 life sentences. He was beaten to death in prison in 1994 by Christopher Scarva, a fellow inmate. Jeffrey Dharma's name is a chilling reminder of the darkest recesses of the human psyche, a cautionary tale of the horrors that may lurk within us all.